gosh, would you look at this? Not even 48 hours since we got the stinky chicks into the brooder in the coop. We've got more in the brooder in the house. In fact, come over here. Let me move the cat. The cat seems to be incubating the eggs for us. Look at that. Look at that big yawn. Come here. Come here. Look at this. We got a new one that just hatched this morning, and there's a couple of others that are getting ready to hatch. Let me put the cat back up there. We're using these Producer Pride Radiant Coop and Brooder Heaters. I thought I'd do a product review on them for you. So come on, let's take a look at what we got here. Hey, before we get started on the review, if, you're, if you enjoy content about homesteading or cooking or preparedness, think about hitting that subscribe button and joining our virtual community that we're building here. A lot of good people, a lot of good information is shared, and we'd like you to join join us. Yeah. So if you've been around the channel for any amount of time, you know we have an aversion to heat lamps, especially when it's hard to find good quality ones anymore. So we were looking for alternatives, and what we found, and we needed it in a pinch, we found the Producer's Pride Chicken Coop Heater and Brooder. And what it is, it's a radiant heater that can be used in your coop and your brooders uh, to keep them warm. And as you can see on here, it says it's easy to assemble. It's a chicken coop heater and brooder heater in one unit. Radiant heat technology is much safer than heat bulbs. Yes, it is. Certified uh, zero clearance, meaning that the animals can be right up against it. Uh, uses 87% less energy than a 1500 watt heat lamp. Dual position switch, heater, brooder, three position height adjustment for brooder, heater can stand vertically, horizontal, or be hung. Uh, built with thermostat, maintains a constant temperature, and convenient in cord switch. And then you can see it's got, got the picture on that. So here's the product itself. So it comes with, with two different sets of feet. It's got these feet here, and I'll show you how those go in just a second. But it's got these feet here too, which allow it to stand up. And here, let me, let me swap that out for you. So if we take these out, we take these two feet out, they're little slots. They're little slots right here on the end, and that's what the feet fit into. So we pull those out. And what we do is we take these feet, and we stick them in there like that to make it go vertical. So that's what it looked like. So as you can see, there, there are three different positions for the feet, and you put it all the way down here, and that's where we've got the brooder right now. And it also has these, these mounting holes on the back, so you can actually mount it on the wall. And then, to get it back into the other configuration, we just pull these feet off. Put these feet back on. And voila. It fits right back, right back to the way it was. It's got the two position switch, it's got the heater and the brooder settings, and this little red light will come on when it's plugged in and it's working properly. Now they say it's zero clearance, and, and it is. The, the chicks and chickens can get right up against it. Now from what little time we used it, we, we've only used it for one batch of chicks. I've been really impressed with it. It works, it works really well. It kept them nice and warm, and it is extremely safe. If I, had any, if I had anything negative to say about it, and this is something you're going to hear me say a lot, um, it's Chinese made. It comes from China, and we bought... These two, we got two of them because we had two, two brooders going. We had to get them from Tractor Supply because we needed them extremely quickly. Now they do, they do sell on Amazon for $69.97, I think it was. So we'll put a link down below and you can click there and go check them out and look at all the, all the uh, stats on them, okay? <sighs> Chinese made aside, they seem to be good quality. 
they lasted they the 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 chicks were extremely messy and extremely dirty and the devices functioned exactly like they're supposed to they were easy to clean off uh, this one that you're looking at right now is still a little bit dirty from the, the last batch of chicks. But at the end of the day, I, I would have to recommend this. If you cannot find an American-made radiant heater for your, your coop or your brooders, I would go ahead and I would definitely purchase the Producer's Pride Chicken Coop Heater and Brooder. Well, that's about it. If you found this interesting or enjoyable, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that you liked it. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when we got more videos coming out. Most importantly, well, second most important, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've used this, if you know anything, anything negative about it. Like I said, we have not had any negative uh, things happen with it. So there might be some out there that we don't know about. So let us know. Or if you've got one and you enjoy it, let us know. But... The most important thing, go live a life done free. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, Milo.